Hello, my name is Rabbi Ariel Shimko, and in case we haven't met yet, it's a pleasure to meet you. And I wanted to share a little bit about this week's Parsha, Balak, with you. So in this week's Parsha, we learn about Balak, the king of Moab. After seeing the Israelites defeat the other nations in war, Balak asked Balaam to curse the Israelites. Balaam's donkey sees an angel of God and freezes in place. Then Balaam hits the donkey. God speaks through the mouth of the donkey to tell Balaam not to curse the Israelites. Instead of cursing the Israelites, Balaam blesses them. In Parsha Balak, we see the prayer of Matovu, a prayer we recite each morning when we walk into the sanctuary of a synagogue and as part of the morning blessings. The first line of the prayer is Matovu Ohalacha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Israel, which translates as, How lovely are your tents, people of Jacob, your sanctuaries, people of Israel. So you may ask, why is the prayer of Matovu included in Parsha Balak, a story about a talking donkey? Sounds more like something to include in the DreamWorks movie Shrek. Balaam was asked to curse the Israelites, yet every time he tried to curse them, he couldn't get the words out. Finally, on his third attempted curse, he ultimately blesses the Israelites with the blessings of Matovu. How lovely are your tents. In Rabbi Marsha Prager's book, The Path of Blessing, Prager cites that Jewish tradition teaches us that we should be able to say a hundred blessings a day. She continues by saying, that our lives should be so rich and varied, so filled with awareness, that our souls will want to stretch 100 times a day. This week's Parsha got me thinking about curses and blessings within Judaism. In Judaism, we say a blessing before eating or drinking, when seeing a beautiful rainbow, a shooting star, or when hearing a thunderstorm. We acknowledge each miracle with a blessing and get into a pretty strong habit of blessing making and giving. Rabbi Lisa Sachs of Beth Torah in Mount Kisco, New York, says blessings help us see the wonder in the world that we can easily miss in our busy lives. And they remind us that we are links in the chain of tradition, part of a rich and vibrant heritage. Not only do we recite blessings before and after eating and for witnessing everyday miracles, but so too, we bless each other every day to have health, happiness, prosperity, or whatever else we may wish for. A common way to end a Dvar Torah is with a blessing. A common way to say goodbye to a friend, relative, or community member is with a blessing. Wherever you look in Judaism, you will find blessings. So why include Matovu in Parshat Balak? Balak specifically chose a non-Jewish prophet, Bilam to attempt to curse the Israelites. Perhaps Balak specifically chose a non-Jewish prophet to re-emphasize that Judaism is a light upon the nations. And we need to continuously focus on our own spiritual development, as well as outreach to other nations around the globe, especially in the state of affairs today. My blessing for each and every one of you today is that you may see every curse as a blessing and turn any negative experience into an opportunity to feel blessed, and be able to offer blessings to those around us in abundance at any given time. Shabbat Shalom.